This lecture will be a continuation of our lecture series about the nervous system and the topic of this lecture will be different neuron structures. So here we have four different structural types of neurons. And as you can see, these structural types of neurons consist of anaxonic neurons, bipolar neurons, unipolar neurons, and multipolar neurons. So we're going to look at each of these individually. We're going to begin by looking at multipolar neurons. This is what we consider to be our classic neuron shape and the one that we described when we described the structure of a neuron. These neurons have one axon and many dendrites protruding from the soma. These are the most common type of neuron in the central nervous system. So when we think about an interneuron, many of our interneurons are going to be multipolar neurons. So I listed not only interneurons, but Purkinje cells and pyramidal cells. Purkinje cells are found in your cerebellum, which is a portion of your brain, and pyramidal cells are found on the anterior side of the medulla oblongata, which is part of your brain stem. So all of those are part of our central nervous system. The second type we're going to look at is a bipolar neuron. A bipolar neuron is called such because it has two poles. Coming off of one side of our soma, we have our dendrites, and we've got one dendritic process coming off of there. And then on the opposite side of the soma, we have one axon leaving the soma. So information is going to come in through the dendrites, flow down this one dendritic process, and then we're going to start an action potential at our axon hillock, and our action potential will move down our one axonal process. Bipolar neurons are not very common in our nervous system, and we usually only see them in our olfactory cells, neurons in the retina, and neurons in our ear. So you can associate bipolar neurons with our special senses. Next, let's take a look at unipolar neurons. Unipolar neurons are going to have one single process leading away from the soma, and that process is going to be our axon. So here is our soma, and our soma lies off to the side of one process, but that process is an axon. The axon is going to be connected to our dendrite. So our dendrites lie far away from the cell body and then our trigger zone is going to be between our dendrites and our axon. This trigger zone is very similar to an axon hillock but it is not connected to the cell body. It's going to lie between our dendrites and our axon. This is a rather common type of neuron in our nervous system and it is going to be a sensory neuron that we call our first order neuron. So if you think about your skin and all of the different things that you can sense with your skin, let's talk about picking up a cold can of Coke when you touch that can of coke you are going to feel that cold sensation coming in your dendrites on your skin those dendrites are going to trigger an action potential to move down your axon and this axon is going to bring that information into the central nervous system that action potential is going to move straight past your soma and not stop it go. We're going to keep going and go straight into the central nervous system being your spinal cord where we will synapse with a multipolar neuron in the spinal cord. 
Lastly, we have our anaxonic neuron. These are also not very common in our nervous system, but we do find them in a couple of places. We call them anaxonic. An means without or no, and then axonic means axon. So as you can see, we have many dendritic processes coming off of our soma, but you don't see any axons. So an anaxonic neuron has many dendrites, but no axon. These cells are going to communicate locally through their dendrites, and they may release some neurotransmitters, they just don't do it from an axon. We find these neurons in our brain, in our retina, and in our adrenal medulla. Often, they serve as neurosecretory cells. For example, in our adrenal medulla, when these cells are stimulated, they release epinephrine and norepinephrine into our bloodstream. So here again, we see our different types of neurons. As you can see in our multipolar neurons, we have some of the cells that I mentioned. Our Purkinje cells are located in our cerebellum. Our pyramidal cells are located in our medulla oblongata. And then we have our motor neurons. So when we talk about upper motor neurons and lower motor neurons, later in this module, we will come in contact with these motor neurons. We will also see our unipolar neurons when we talk about sensation and sensory tracts as that information comes into our nervous system. We will not talk about bipolar or anaxonic neurons in any specific detail past what we have mentioned today based on basic structure of the neuron. If you have any questions regarding this material, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.